Market Square. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot to cheer for, especially those, you know, really fun toys. Oh, yeah. Especially the ones for kids, even the ones you had as a kid. Mm -hmm. Do you, you know? remember? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, what yeah. your favorite childhood toy was? Yeah. That's easy for me. What is it? So I, I drove my parents crazy. I had one of those uh, talking Alf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you put the tape in the back and wow. you like, talked. Oh. I love that thing. Wow. Wow, oh, yeah. Alf was the bomb, man. <laughs> <laughs> what was one of the things Alf would say? I don't know. Um... <laughs> well, I know what? you wanted to eat the cat all the time. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so. that's right. That's what okay. was yours, Ursula? Um, I actually, we had this incredible train set that my oh. brothers, I had four brothers, and they got this one year for Christmas. And I just, I know it wasn't for me, but I got more pleasure out of that train set than I think any of my brothers did. You were the engineer, I bet. There we go. <laughs> I always love putting a train around the, the Christmas tree. Yeah. Christmas tree. I yeah. love that. So yeah. how about you, Dave? I'm going to go with Hot Wheels. Oh, oh, yes. It's a good one. Those Always a good stocking and, stuffer. And, and real quick, for those people, the young people, remember the high C that used to come in a can, like a 36-ounce can of high C? Yep. When I was a kid and got the Hot Wheels, you could, you could like, send in the label and 50 cents and get a Hot Wheel. I remember that. <laughs> yes. That was, that was great. That was, and, yeah, high C was fantastic. Yeah. Hot, did you have the mongoose snake? Remember that? Uh-huh. Yep. And it, had, it came off that you put them on the stairs, you go down the stairs, and go through that little thing. They had the little wheels spinning. Oh, yeah, 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 and it yeah. got shoot through the wheels and yeah. do the loop-de-loop -loop yeah. and remember fly that. across. Remember the electric Hot Wheels you'd plug in? They were called Sizzlers, and they would haul around the track. Well, I didn't have electricity. And then you had to plug okay. them back in. Yes. <laughs> Look at that little trip down memory lane. <laughs> you guys get excited oh, about that. Yeah. Hot Wheels are great. And you didn't then, have yeah, electricity? I just kidding. Okay, we, we yeah. need to get on the show. We could yeah. be yeah. on Hot Wheels all day long. We could go on forever, could we? Packed away somewhere. So uh, let us know what is your, that, that one Favorite special. Favorite childhood toy. What yeah. was the one thing? What was yours? Well, I loved, and my mom loved this too, that I loved it, Legos. I could occupy myself all the time with Legos, but. I'm sure Vacuum loved it too. <laughs> step on one of those things, yeah. Uh, Tonka trucks though, and I had, I remember the mighty Tonka set, you know, they're oh. different like levels and sizes and all that, the mighty Tonka Jeep, I had that, which is why I think if I won the lottery, uh -huh. first thing what I would, would be, buy what would, it, would be one of those Hummer H1s, you know, the military version, because it reminds totally me of that old that. thing. That, Just but so happy. Mighty Tonka Jeep, the red Mighty Tonka Jeep, so oh, what was yours? Okay. Uh, mine was the My Little Pony Dream Castle. Oh. Couldn't get enough of that thing. Okay. All right, <laughs> okay. Well, nothing says holidays, which are upon us, like a warm homemade pie. Uh, yes, indeed, and registered dietitian Shailene McNeil from... I love this name, Beef Lovin' Texas. You yes! Have to, you have to kind of say it like that a little bit. What was That's your favorite toy? Oh, Etch-A-Sketch. Yep. For sure. <gasps> that was it. another good one. Oh, yeah. So shake, shake, shake. And you'd, get the, you'd get it and somebody would bump it in. Oh, and the whole like, thing. I know. Oh. It was so fun. And did you yes. ever try and clear the whole screen? Oh, I went, I went yeah. to both hit and both knobs oh, real yeah. fast. <laughs> Okay. Now, back to the topic at hand. <laughs> yes. We're All right. talking beef. Yes. Yes. We're going to make a delicious Southwestern pie. You know, pie at Christmas, but what about a savory pie? So you've already started mm -hmm. up here, Mike. You've got some ground beef, lean ground beef, still mm -hmm. delicious flavor without the fat, some onions and jalapenos. Okay. And we're just going to start adding our Southwest ingredients. Let's start with the water to give okay. a little bit of moisture. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to dump in all kinds of great spices, some chili powder, some Oops. oregano, some cumin. I would kind of add all that in, up a little paprika, and then you're going to kind of stir that around. All you're just right. making the pie filling here. You're going to take some sweet potatoes that have already been cooked with a little bit of salt, boiled. How'd you, how'd you do those? I just did them fork tender on okay. the stove, just boiled them just for a few minutes, and then you're going to add some Mexican cheese to kind of blend it all together. All of this? Yes, it's now, just a dump and go. All right. Amount, amounts, what is that, a pound about of ground a, That's beef? about a, a pound of ground beef and mm -hmm. a one sweet potato and a cup of cheese. All of these ingredients are on beeflovingtexans.com so you can get the full download and recipe. You're mixing that together, your okay. savory, delicious, warm pie filling. And then, Fiona, if you want to help me out, you're just yes. going to dump this into the pan here. Mike's okay. going to do that. Okay. And then you're going to, I'm going to show you this cute little idea to take, <gasps> um, oh, take a star out of it, make a little Texas theme going see on. That? Okay, so we, we had the, um, I don't know if you can see We're just, guys can we're see just this. using store-bought pie there we crust, go. too. There we go. And then watch this. Ta-da! Look at that. That's Keep that. it really easy. Mm -hmm. Store-bought pie crust. And then we're going to just take this. You can kind of dump it out on top. Just like you that. You can roll out your own or make your own homemade. Push that together. Press I love all the idea of taking the other pie crust and just yeah. popping it on you top You know what? Like Most that, pie so. crusts come two to a package, and mm -hmm. so why not? It's a way to use why it. Not? Yeah, so you already you open the package. You just kind of take this. You guys can work on that together. Okay. Kind of smash it with the fork. Get the edges together. All right. And we love this little tip. You know when you cook a pie in the oven, the edges get kind of over brown before the middle does. Yep. So you'll just take this. 
and wrap it like this. You know, just get the edges wrapped before you put it in. And that'll protect those edges for 25 for about an hour. And you have a gorgeous pie that pairs delicious. Ding! Yeah, da -da! Imagine, you can get yes, some Yes, they like magic easy bake oven. And literally, she brought another one of these. Everybody has taken a bite of it, and we just inhaled this thing. It is one of those great comfort food mm -hmm. meals out it's there. It's very comfort food. It's portable. You can take this with a bottle of wine to a party. We love this blend, the good guy. It's a blend of Tempranillo, Cabernet, and Merlot. It has some awesome lush cherry, a little cocoa, nice warm flavors that pair so nicely with the, the spice. Cherry. Do you that taste the and, mm -hmm. and like light. you said, with a, with a lighter type meat yeah. like that. Yeah, it's leaner meat and, leaner and meat the, the spices well go well. And you said that's very healthy too because... We're using lean beef. Mm -hmm. We're using sweet potatoes. You've got nourishing. You know, the holidays, you want to nourish your heart, your soul, and your body. So okay. this is a great, delicious meal for that. Because, of course, sweet potato is one of the best things oh, you can eat. Oh, so nutrient-rich, just like beef. The, and, the nutrients yeah, the, complement each other. Okay. Now, something a little more formal. Elegant, traditional. Uh, a lot of people are intimidated by doing a roast. It's a lot large cut of meat. This is actually a sirloin tip roast, mm -hmm. $3.99 a pound. So it's a great bargain to do an elegant meal. And so, we're, go ahead. So that's really great for someone who might be intimidated about trying a roast yes. for the first time. You know, at the time of holidays, mm -hmm. you want to make special meals. But mm -hmm. the thing about a roast is you just put this in the oven 30 minutes at 325 per pound, literally season it, put it in, put a meat thermometer in, Pull and, it out when the time, when the cooking time is ready. And as opposed to doing like a uh, pot roast or something yeah. like that, you don't have to brown it, you don't have to braise it. You don't have to. You take it out That's of the package, the season it however you like. We use a thyme crusted and pepper roast. That's really great. Dry roasted in the oven. Texas Beef Council and Beef Loving Texans has a roasting guide. So easy. They take all the guesswork out of it. So get online and check them out there. And comparing that to a, a chuck, which a lot of people usually see in the grocery yep. store, this is more lean than that? It's leaner than that. And chucks make great roasts too, but they're usually moist heat cooking. You know, you put right. it a lot of moisture in there, broth or something, and then you cook it. This is dry heat because it's a sirloin. Oh. It's tender enough that you can do that with. And you're going to pair that with? Pair it. Remember, we talked about bolder wines. This is a tonight. Now, a lot of people think about Cabernet, but what's fun about this big Ending branch to not is you get all kinds of flavors. You're getting peppercorn and fruits and cola and cedar aromas. Delicious, bold wine for a great bold beef cut. Oh, well, cheers. Delicious. Cheers. Shailene yeah. McNeil, thank you yeah. very much. Great, yes. great ideas here. Lots of here. fun for the holidays. Yes. Mm. For this complete recipe and more from Beef Loving Texans, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, we don't have to say it because tis the season for some good eats. Yep, and David <laughs> Elder is going to take us inside the Kona Grill and gives you a taste of their festive holiday menu. Take a look. Hey, it's David Elder with SA Live. I'm out here at the shops at La Quintera at my favorite restaurant, Kona Grill, out here. They are also the winners of our Top That Tuesday Challenge, the Hawaiian Taco Challenge. Well, we're going inside. We're going to talk to them about some new menu items that they have and a new cocktail, which I'm dying to try because I'm thirsty. This is hot out here. Kona Grill in the shops at La Quintera is introducing sizzling new items to their menu. From juicy steak to soft-shelled shrimp, their new additions are delicious. Oh, wow. The idea behind the tostadas is really just to combine a different group of flavors and try to put something together that still stays within the tradition of what we like to do here at Kona. Good. Look at these tostadas. Look at that. You guys are going to have to come out here and grab some of these. Do a little tostada cheers. That's real good. And their new sushi roll is an adventure. You'll be able to taste the crunch in this one that you don't necessarily get in some of the others. Two soft-shelled shrimp rest inside the roll with king crab, not imitation crab, laid across the top. I would bite into it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. The hottest new item is their filet tenderloin. Four-ounce fillets are grilled along with seasoned asparagus. This one specifically is our spin on a classic fillet Oscar. The asparagus creates a bed for the fillets, which are then topped with tarragon bernet sauce and king crab. Preparation was perfect on there. Look at that fillet. I'm gonna keep this one. Okay. I'm gonna... That's fine. <laughs> a side of cheesy, bubbly scalloped potatoes au gratin complete the dish. 
All of these new dishes and their new cocktail are fantastic. Kona Grill is a great way to relax before or after your holiday shopping. Patrick, thank you so much for having me out here, man. Cheers Absolutely. to you. Thank you so much for having me. I mean, the food is delicious. Brand new items coming out here at Kona Grill at La Quintera. You guys got to come check them out. I mean, the tostadas, the new sushi rolls. You guys, I mean, the, the filet. The filet. Is the filet. I mean, that king crab on top of there. That's just none other. And the desserts. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of these new items. And, of course, the cocktails. So, so cheers. All right, cheers. You guys got to come try it. For SA Live, I'm David Elder. All right, coming up. A new member was just born recently at the Animal World Snake Farm Zoo. A baby sloth. We're introducing you to this small cutie next. And a drone. Ooh, that was fun to fly. And I don't know what's cooler, that or a mobile printer and so much more. Some great, great gift ideas that your family is going to love. Stay with us. Forget. It is a wild Wednesday, a very special wild Wednesday, kind of an extreme cuteness alert. We oh, have to introduce you to the newest member out there at the Animal World Snake Farm and Zoo. It just I know. Oh. Or you can't help but start talking like this when you watch the video. <laughs> this adorable baby may not be going anywhere fast, but quickly managed to capture our hearts. <laughs> We're here at Animal World and Snake Farm, and I'm joined by Jared Forthman, and this is incredible. Who do we have here? And that is a brand new baby, right? That's right. This is uh, Sylvia, the two-toed sloth, and uh, she has a baby that's about six days old now. Six days old. That's right, so and she had a little, what appears to be a little girl. We're not uh, getting our hands on mm -hmm. her yet. Just we don't want to make mom or baby uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But yet, only six days old. And right now, this is very unusual. We're actually watching her move. This is the, the slowest moving mammal on the planet. So um, you're seeing her pretty much in full speed right now. And uh, that's just because she's curious. She sees us in here. She's not sure if we're in here to feed her some special treats or not. Has it grown in six days? I really haven't seen much that's that visible anyway. She's definitely opening her eyes a whole lot more. She's gonna stay on mom like that for probably a minimum of uh, about six months. And at that point, they start to wander around on their own. What kind of nutrients? You know, I mean, mom's milk and... Yeah, that's basically baby's gonna survive off of mom, mom's milk for the first few months. While the, the adult actually will start growing algae on the fur and baby actually gets some nutrition from that algae that's growing there. Uh, mom also eats off that algae too, so it's, it's pretty interesting. But you can see, uh, you know, just how the, uh, the sloth, the mom is just hooking onto that branch. That's how baby holds on to mom. So I can imagine mom after six months is like, all right, you, you got to go. <laughs> So for six months, it's, you know they'll be like that, and then and then the and then happens. the sloth just kind of goes off on its own. But they really um, stay in the same territories. They don't travel far. Obviously, being the slowest moving mammal, it's not like he's going to go occupy several miles away by any means. But it could just be, you know, lives in the tree next door uh, for the majority of the baby's life as well. So. Well, it looks like she's uh, so she's what? found her resting place. So is that that's how they sleep? That's it. She's gonna um, live, you know, 99.9% .9 of her life upside down. Um, they they feed upside down. They sleep upside down. They mate upside down. Pretty much the only thing that they do that's down. right side up is you know once a week they go to the bottom of a tree have a movement, you know, and they lose about, you know, up to a third of their body weight and size. Oh, if I could only be so lucky. <laughs> yeah. yeah, talk about a detox. Especially after the holidays. Once a week Let detox, tell, yeah. right? <laughs> that detox. <laughs> Since the baby's been born, mm -hmm. we come in here and we'll hand feed mom as much as we can. And that gives us an opportunity to interact with that baby without actually having hands on. Right. But that way the, this baby's gonna grow up without a fear of people. And, right. and that gives us an opportunity to get people up close right. and personal and educational programs and such. So. Well, you can come see Sylvia the Sloth and her baby here at Animal World and Snake Farm. And for more information on them, you know what to do. Just head to our website and click on the S on SA Live tab.
Okay, that's not the cutest little right. thing. Right, and you know, we were trying to get you know, you know yeah. close to, to its face. You know, I had the little GoPro, and I'd get as close as I could, and then all of a sudden, Mom's head comes around like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, of all the National Geographic specials and everything, I've never seen a baby There's sloth before. Well, there you go. You're welcome. Oh, how, and how big was it? About, like, yay, yay big? Well, about... <laughs> about, but, okay. I mean, are you going, to, like, to the tail? Yeah. Like okay. that? I would say with the tail. Oh, yeah. that's cute. <laughs> Give or take. All right, coming up next on the show. Stay warm and cozy with a tall cup of champurado. We'll share this traditional recipe right after the break. Imas is here. You are making mm -hmm. champurado. Champurado! Which is different than Mexican it's hot chocolate. very different than Mexican hot chocolate because it is based with a tamale flour, a corn-based okay. flour. Okay. So it's actually a two-part process. So in the first pot, we're going to have three cups of water, okay. a piloncillo. And we and put then, this in here. And then we're going to put the two sticks of cinnamon in there. And two sticks and of cinnamon. And we want to melt that down. Right. This and would melt down. We don't, for TV purposes, we don't have water here to melt down. But this would melt down and would take about, about okay. 15, 10 minutes. Yeah. But what else I need to do in the first pot, mm -hmm. add the water. And okay. then you're going to add the flour. And what kind of flour is this again? That is tamale flour, okay. which is a corn-based. And you're going to start stirring and stirring. And when you think you're done stirring, you're going to stir, stir some, some more. more. So ah. this is not uh, instant, quick kind of hot no, chocolate. No, no, like no. This no, is worth okay. the wait. This actually is <laughs> an Aztec. Goes way back. But now we have, they go wonderful with churros. Mm -hmm. So, Fiona, could you please start rolling them into sugar? Oh, I can oh, do that. Oh, look at that. Okay. Look at that. So goes hand in hand. So once that piloncito or the brown sugar mm -hmm. is finally melted down, okay. we add the... We put the milk in? We add that last. That's last. That's so. next to last, and then okay. we add the chocolate. So this would go in this pot yes. then. Yes, yes, okay. thank and you. And after the cinnamon has all been melted down and everything in there... You add the gallon of milk. Okay. And this whole, the whole gallon the to whole it, right? Gallon, the okay. whole gallon, the whole gallon. All of it goes in there. And yes. like you said, this is one of those, as I think it's Emerald Lagasse says, it is the food of love because it takes It while. is definitely a food of love. But worth the wait. Well, matter of fact, my grandma, my mom's wife's grandmother, uh, Ramona, actually mm -hmm. introduced it to me. Oh. And wonderful when I first discovered it. So I always would ask my mother about it. And she goes, oh, yeah, she would just and forgot then, to tell us. <laughs> and the chocolate goes in then. Last. That is the Final, you do two two squares or two two bits mm -hmm. of the chocolate in there, and you melt it down for another 15, 20 minutes. Oh, for, yeah, oh, wait, they're go. over here. Okay, mm -hmm. going at home. There, there mm -hmm. we go. Uh -huh. And this is the finished product. So this is this is champurado. Mm -hmm. So start to finish. About how long? If somebody was going to make this, how long would they plan about on? About half an hour. Okay. There we go. Okay. There you go, my mm -hmm. dear. Got it, got Let's it, got it. taste it. The proof. Oh, and Don't you need. Don't forget, I ah, have that for you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can try together. that. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is good. Mm. Goes very great good. with that too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's almost a meal. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I'm happy too. We'll, we'll sip on this. You finish the show for us. Yeah. Okay? All right. For more information on Joaquin's Panaderia y Mas, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.
Oh, that was so good. All right, coming up, stocking stuffers that are totally fly. Get it? Thank you for that one, Fiona. We are sharing the hottest trend, trending gift ideas and, oops, he needs, I need practice with that. Yeah, just a bit. So, And uh, earlier we asked you your favorite toys when you were a kid. My favorite childhood toy was the flying Barbie doll. I was entertained for hours. Thank you very much, Amber, for that one. Keep those pictures coming, folks. some names off your holiday shopping list, especially stocking stuffers that are just really, really cool. Lifestyle expert Christina Garcia is here with gift ideas. And we were talking about this earlier. These are the things that you go, you don't know that you need. But once you get them, it's like, oh, my gosh. How did I live coolest. without yeah. it? Yeah. This is so cool. Once you get them, you just love them. Right. Yeah. You can start loving them. Yeah. <laughs> and one thing that folks cannot, you know, get enough of are chargers. Right. right. Who else always looking for theirs, asking yep. for chargers, can't I'm figure out, this one mm -hmm. so they're all tangled one. everywhere, right. but you have a solution right here. Right, so here we have charge, uh, the Charge Hub, is the power strip for the 21st century, mm -hmm. and I think it's a great gift, you know, for dads, not to give these years and a boring tide, you give him a Charge Hub. Uh, what makes it very unique of this Charge Hub is that it has five, uh, five, three, or seven ports, and you can charge any of your devices, anyone you want. You can charge iPhones, you can charge your camera, you can charge your iPad, and you can charge them all at the same time with just one plug. And I love that. So whether it's mm -hmm. Apple or Android, it comes with, you know, three, five, mm -hmm. or seven, yeah. depending on what ports you get those things which are great Any. because they don't tangle or right. you can plug your own you can plug charger, your own charger. in there so it's got a lightning right. for uh, apple it's got the micro mini and that other Aww. newfangled that's such a pretty right. picture oh, thank you and these retails for uh, uh these retails for the uh, 39.99 mm -hmm. to 59.99 depending on the number of parts and it's available at the charhop.com and again if if you need to plug in the, the long cord fine but the nice thing about it is because you get all these long cords yeah. there and right. then it's, it's it's, like you said, it's just a tangled mess. So this way they're this. nice and short. So, yeah, the, the little short ones and like that. And everything's so. in one place, which right. I love. Not and scattered all over the house. The other nice <laughs> you thing, too, look for your is iPhone. <laughs> it only takes up one plug in the wall. Even yes. better. Instead of having all the little cubes plugged in and then, you know, fighting yep. over the plug in the wall. So Great gift okay. for that. Oh, yeah. Yep. And then this next one can be a great gift for dads or for kids. Or the kids, which might no, be a gift for dad. It's secretly goes in the category as of, here's <laughs> a gift for, the for you child let daddy show you how it's done yes and play with it all the time <laughs> like you have been here so, it is what are we looking at here we have the polaroid pl3000 drone and this is actually one of my favorite gifts that we have here today whoa, oh, my whoa, god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. oh my god oh my god whoa 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, it's in the restaurant it's in the restaurant oh god oh my gosh thank goodness there's nobody oh. eating there wait Mike, wait, wait oh my gosh the there you go. There well, you it's go. fine. It's fine. <gasps> now, now, oh, now it's using the auto okay. landing function, which too. is great. So, but, so you mean to tell me that if he, because he, he obviously doesn't know how to land it. Yes. It, you don't have to know how to land it. Any no, landing you, you can walk away from is a good function, one. And it will just auto land it for you, like has done to, uh, right now. But if you have, you know, the problem that, oh my God, I spent a lot of money on this oh. and I don't <laughs> want to destroy it. It doesn't matter because you have a 60 day warranty. And free you hear plastic. that, Mike? You have a 60 day warranty on those parts that you and just crashed, the plastic parts. And free plastic part for a year. <laughs> so if you break one of the propellers, don't worry about it because we got you covered. We will send you one and you will need to pay just the shipping and handling. I love that. So warranty on the plastic propellers for yes. a year and he's um, going to need it. <laughs> so this flies up for oh, a thousand oh, oh. feet. I'm, I'm going I'm oh. to break your toy. Sorry. <laughs> I Bye. think you're done. <laughs> <laughs> propellers are pretty sturdy on this baby. Yes. Let me tell you. Yeah. If anything, Couple we know that. that won't hurt anything. <laughs> well, uh, it can stay in fly for 10 minutes and you just need 180 <laughs> minutes charge time, which is great. So you can take it out like uh, twice. I want one. I, I know you one. do. Yeah, we all want one. So if I get this for him, how much is it going to cost? Uh, two forty nine ninety nine. You know, and for a drone with a camera on yeah. it, because uh, you put your your cell phone. Mm -hmm. 
right in there and you get all paired up and everything like that and a little camera on. For drone with the camera, that's pretty right. good price. Right. And it we can go a, a thousand feet up and 20 miles an hour, up to 20 miles an hour. Right? And it also live streams high def video to your phone or any of your devices. Right. And right. a little, um, uh, what's your thing? SIM card thing goes in there. Yeah, the Mahui thing. Yeah, yeah the what's your thing? So you can take pictures. <laughs> take okay. pictures uh, through the app or through the SIM card and Oops. it just. Let me get that another way. Okay. Take it to your phone. All, All right. right. So this next one, I love this because, I mean, you have photos on your phone, I mean, by the what, hundreds? Thousands. Thousands. And I mean, you always want to print them. Right. So this is Life Print. This is Life Print. It's a pocket size printer. It's inkless and it's tiny. And what it, but what I really like about this is that you can print images still from videos. So from it, videos. Oh. It's the first one of its kind that you can take a picture from one video and then you just print it. You send it to your phone. Um, I mean, you pair it to your phone uh -huh. via Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. and it's super easy to pair. Just to as compare you can size. See. It, it's the size of it's the, the of size the of the phone. phone. A little bit thicker. Yeah. And you know, then I'm, you just print it. And voila, you have your picture. And I love that. I love that it's not just photos on your phone. Right. You could take a still from a video that yes. you took. OK. Uh, this video is for $129.99, and it's available at thegromit.com. OK. All right. This next one smells amazing. Yeah. So here it's the gift for mom. Mm -hmm. Like we always stress for what am I gonna give for mom? Because she has everything, she's always there for us. So this is a great gift. This is the Jasmine Aroma Diffuser from Statler Form USA. And what I really like about this is that it uses an ultrasonic technology. So you blend water and pure essential oil and then you get your fragrance. Oh wow. And it, just, uh, it can, so you can get the fragrance in like one room Mm -hmm. uh, and also, other thing that I really like is that it works in two modes. Uh, it can be continuous mode that it just runs for eight uh, for eight hours, or you can have it like uh, the whole day. It just starts like it works ten minutes, then shuts oh, off. Oh, it's 20. sporadic. That's great. So, yes. Mm -hmm. And when mom's like, okay, mm -hmm. leave me alone. I'm going to right. you know right. take a bath, nice soothing bath, and you put the yes. therapy thing you in there. You put so. the thing on, okay. and it automatically shuts off. You don't need to be worrying about, oh, my God, did I shut it off? Right. No, you don't need to. When mom is relaxed and happy, everybody's relaxed <laughs> and happy. All right. Yeah, uh, this is just for $59.99. It's available at the standard from USA.com. Okay. All right. We're going to spice things up right now. Yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, so here we have, yeah, grab one, please. Oh, here we go. Oh, thank uh, you. So we have great stocking stuffers or like to, for a uh, gift basket, maybe. Uh, these are African inspired, real African inspired uh, spices. They taste amazing. And here we have like dry hibiscus, which is one of their uh, most famous. We have yellow of rice. Mm -hmm. We have, and we have peri peri. Here's an interesting fact peri peri means pepper, pepper in Swahili. Oh, I did not know that. that. That's what it means. Pepper, All pepper, sorts Swahili. of great ideas from, you know, mm -hmm. from mom, for dad, mm -hmm. everybody else, and uh, squiggly straws, too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And this yeah. recipe that we have here, uh, we're, we don't have enough time to get to it, but it's going to be on our website. So for all these gift ideas and this recipe, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank, Thank you, you so Christina. much, Christina. Thank you. All right. Tomorrow on SA Live, pie and vodka. Okay. Oh my gosh, I, I don't worry, I'm going to be here. Okay, what better combination? We're gearing you up for the holidays with a spiked eggnog pie recipe for your sweet tooth craving. That's all tomorrow at 1, counting down to it. Talking about AIDS and STDs is not a comfortable topic of conversation, but it's one that affects a lot of people here in San Antonio. And that's why Metro Health is making it easier than ever for you to get prepared and stay safe. And with me today is Mildred Ofor, HIV Prevention Supervisor with Metro Health. So thank you so much for being here. My, my pleasure. My now, pleasure. Tell me a little bit about the mobile unit that we have here behind us. So the mobile unit is basically um, an extension of the health department. And what we're able to do with the mobile unit is we're able to go east, west, north, and south, wherever we need to. to basically make testing more accessible to individuals in the community. Okay. So we typically have a schedule, a monthly schedule of where we're going to be each month and individuals who are interested, we encourage you to come out. It's usually free of charge. Uh, whenever you see us, please take advantage of it. And what does the test involve? So we typically provide testing for HIV, chlamydia, syphilis and gonorrhea and we typically will use blood, we'll get your blood drawn and we provide testing for HIV and syphilis with the blood and with a urine sample we'll provide testing for chlamydia and gonorrhea and all of that is done on the unit. All of it done here? Yes, sir. Well, that's amazing. So how do people find out where this is located? On our website, sanantonio.gov health, we have a monthly schedule of where we're going to be. So 
who knows, we might be next to you, so please, please come out and get tested. It's completely free of charge. So World's AIDS Day is yes. December 1st. Now, what is San Antonio Metro Health? What are they going to be doing for that? We actually have two events we're going to be participating in. The first will be at uh, the Living Church at Woodlawn Point, and that's put it, getting put together by um, World AIDS Day Collaborative, which, of course, Metro Health is a part of. Mm -hmm. we, we're having a celebration of hope and remembrance for those who have lost their lives to HIV and AIDS. And then at night, we're going to have the mobile unit. We're going to be at Pegasus at 1402 North Main Avenue, and we'll be providing free testing, HIV, syphilis, chlamydia, gonorrhea, so please, please come out and get tested. And these locations can also be found on your social media as Absolutely, well. Absolutely, yes. yes. As well as our website, sanantonio.gov slash health. And again, we have a monthly calendar of where we're going to be. So whenever you're free, please take advantage of those. It's absolutely free of charge. And that's fantastic. We're going to actually go inside right now, right? Yes, and we're going to we see are. what the testing's like. Absolutely. All right, let's go inside. Okay. All right, Mildred. So now we're inside the actual mobile unit right now. And this is really cool. It looks like a little doctor's office Thank in here. This you. is nice. Thank now, what are we looking at right here? Okay, so this is what an instant HIV test would look like. This is what the test kit usually comes in. Mm -hmm. We have all our solutions. We have a little lancet. We have our alcohol prep pad. And it's very easy. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what having their uh, blood sugar checked looks like. Mm -hmm. Same process. Okay. We'll prick your finger. I just got tested today. Oh, so please, please get out, come on, and get tested. This is what a test would look like if it's negative. You see one wet spot and two if it's positive. Okay. okay. It only takes one minute, so please again come out and get tested. I know it's a very difficult subject, but please, um, it's very non intimidating. We have a very, very well trained team um, to provide the testing for you. So that's pretty fast, then? Yes. That is quick. Yes, it so is. So you're in and out and you, get, you yes. get to become informed. Absolutely. That's great. Absolutely. Now, why is this such an important issue to be talking about here in San Antonio? So I'm sure we've all heard about how San Antonio rates for HIV has been on the rise. It's important important for us to come out and make sure that the testing is accessible to individuals because it could be very intimidating where people think, oh, it affects them, it doesn't affect us. Okay. And that's not true. Yep. It affects the community in general. Um, so it's important for San Antonio Metro Health to play our part to make sure that the community is tested and they have access to it and they can afford to because it's completely free. And that's great. Free yes. access to education yes. and being smarter, being yes. well prepared for this kinds of things. Absolutely. Mildred, thank you so much for having thank us come you. out My here. My pleasure. And for more information, you can go online to sanantonio.gov slash health. You can come get tested for free. Yes. Tis the season for family, friends, festivities, and that food train that seems to keep on coming. But how to keep the pounds down during the holidays? Joining me today with holiday party tips is Parker Wallace, author of a best-selling cookbook, Eat Rich, Stay Skinny, A Girl's Guide to Holiday Feasting. Hi there, Parker. Hi, Fiona. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. Okay, so you wrote the book on holiday eating, a topic everybody talks about, but they may not know how to kind of maneuver their way through the holidays, especially with parties and gatherings. What, what are some of your tips to kind of help keep the unwanted pounds at bay? Well, this is not the season for deprivation because we all know we want what we can't have and that leads us down a bad path of holiday overeating. So I'm all about small bites so you can have a little bit of everything and not overdo it. And uh, of course, stay in those skinny jeans. So what are some suggestions for holiday appetizers with a healthy twist? Absolutely. You know, appetizers really set the tone for the entire meal. So I love starting this holiday season with Crunchmaster crackers, and I'm serving them with a delicious cranberry baked brie. This is so melty and decadent and super easy to make. The Crunchmaster crackers actually take it to a whole new level of crunchy and delicious. They also have such wholesome ingredients like brown rice, quinoa, and flax, so they're naturally gluten-free to fit in with any of your guests' dietary needs. So, along with the food, we all know everyone likes to have a couple of drinks over the holidays. What, yeah. what do you recommend as far as what types of spirits to go for versus to avoid? This is my holiday celebration with Stella Rosa, my go-to. It's America's number one selling imported Italian wine. Of course, their original semi-sweet, semi-sparkling Rosso with notes of strawberry and the black with more blueberry and blackberry notes, plus their fully sparkling versions, the Stella Rosa. Rosa Lux and the Black Lux, which come in these gorgeous containers, these tin canisters, which make great hostess gifts, as well as their little mini bottles, which are great stocking stuffers. StellaRosa.com, you can find great 
cocktail recipes. But let's stay in the deliciousness over here for a second. Mm -hmm. The green bean casserole here is made with pulses. We're not talking about this kind of pulse, but we're talking about that superfood group that people commonly know as chickpeas and lentils, dry peas, and beans. And just one half cup serving three times a week is going to max out the flavor element, but also meet all those dietary fiber needs. So you're getting all of that good stuff loaded in. And then of course, the holidays can be exhausting as you know. So what I love is to have my freezer stocked with virtuoso pizza. So whether you've got friends over late or you're just exhausted from a long day of holiday shopping, this is my go-to. It combines wholesome ingredients and flavors that are so fresh, you will forget it's even frozen. They've got that classic crust, which you can see here with the gorgeous pepperoni. I'm just about ready to dive into that right now. And they've got their thin and crispy crust as well with 14 varieties of flavors. So you can satisfy the entire crowd. Thank you so much. Where can folks go for more information on everything you've recommended? Yeah, you can check out tipsontv.com. All right, it's Parker Wallace, author of Eat Rich, Stay Skinny, A Girl's Guide to Holiday Feasting. Thank you so much. Thank you. you all right, we asked you earlier. Oh, yes. yes, yes. What was your favorite childhood toy? Ricardo says Lincoln Logs, yep. the ultimate building imagination toy. Loved them. Loved them, loved them. And Rachel Martinez says Chatty Cappy doll. <laughs> 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 Which makes me think of planes, trains, and automobiles. Anyway, this is going by way. Mark. Mark said, says, Mousetrap was always fun with family and friends. Mousetrap. Remember the dance for him? And oh. Julianne says, I could not live without my color forms. From Holly Hobby to Barbie, spent hours on end playing with them and could not forget them. I love those things. So these are the little pictures. Check it out. out check it out. Tiny printer. There we go. We yeah, got it to work. We've got one coming out right now. And okay. we just took that photo a little bit ago.